Speculation continues to grow that Senator Elizabeth Warren may run for the presidency in 2020. In a speech, she said, progressives have won the battle for the soul of the Democrat Party. Joining us now, Kelly Ayotte, former Republican senator from New Hampshire. Uh, Ma'am, would you like to see Senator Elizabeth Warren as the candidate for the Democrats, as a Republican yourself? Do you want to see her representing the Democrats? I actually think it would be a favor to Republicans yes. because <laughs> I don't see... <laughs> Senator Warren appealing to the states, especially that Donald, uh, President Trump won. If you think about Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, those uh, states where you have these hardworking folks uh, in the Midwest in this country, I really don't see her appeal there. And I also think that the fact that the Democratic Party is moving farther to the left is not what the American people want in terms of getting things done to help create more jobs, infrastructure, security at home. Yeah, that's one of the, I, I think that's one of the untold stories about American politics today, which is the really sharp-edged shift among Democrats to the left. I've barely heard a word from what one might call a centrist Democrat. It's an untold story. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. That's you. Thanks, Stuart. <laughs> no, the interview's not over. I was just throwing you a, an easy shot. I mean, I thought you wanted to knock that well, thing out no, of the park. I mean, I, I think, no, I think you're right. I mean, the whole issue is that if you even look at the state of Massachusetts, you have, you have a Governor Baker who is doing much better in terms of his approval uh, than a Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, in her own state. So I think if she is the nominee for the Democratic Party, I just don't see her appealing really to the rest of the country. Okay, now today is the day in Alabama where there is that runoff for the Republican uh, nomination there. It's uh, Luther Strange, the sitting senator, against Mo Brooks who is challenging him for the nomination. Now President Trump has come down on the side of Luther Strange and it is assumed that he is now on the side of the Republican establishment. Are you at all surprised that President Trump, with that tweet on the screen right now, are you surprised that Mr. Trump is coming down on the side of the establishment here? Well, I'm not surprised. I, I, I would imagine this, that President Trump is supporting Senator Strange because he believes that Senator Strange will be able to work with him to get his agenda passed. And so that is probably his priority, and that makes sense. He's got tax reform uh, on the horizon here, infrastructure, and he'd like to take another shot at health reform. So he needs someone that can work with him in the Senate. As a former Republican senator, do you think that the Republican Party now understands the absolute imperative of getting some kind of tax cut done this year? Do Republicans understand this? I think they do understand it, and this is really important, Stuart, that they get tax reform done. I mean, if you think about, we talked about those states that President Trump won. Uh, those voters want progress. They want to make sure that we have better paying jobs here. Uh, that we keep money here in the United States of America. And let's face it, our tax code is just we're not competitive. It needs to be reformed. And this has to be a priority of the GOP Congress. Uh, it's, yet it has to be a priority. And I'm sure it is a priority. Now give me the odds. What do you think the odds are that we'll get a tax cut of some form this year? What are the odds? I still think it's a challenge. They have to pass a budget resolution first before they can do that. That way they have the, the rules in place that allow them to do it at 50 votes. Uh, but I'm with health care reform not going over the finish line, I would think that they'd be pushing hard to get that done this year because going back into next year is not helpful. I'm, seeing, I'm reading between the lines. You are not hopeful that it's done this year, are you? Well, if I, if you, I was disappointed with what happened with the changes in reform on health care, that they didn't make progress. Uh, but hopefully they'll come back after the August recess really motivated to know that tax reform has to be a priority. But I see challenges in terms of the votes. And people have to come together and work together yeah. with the president so that we can get this done. You've no idea how many times I've been told that on this program. We have to. We ought to. We really must. We have heard a lot of that. But look, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Join the chorus thanks, of demanding that we get a tax cut this year, please. Senator Kelly, I need to get it done. Thanks for joining us, ma'am. Appreciate it. Thank you.